You just destroyed the bad news. You are you bad news, Rod. Rodney Bowling says he's a big time TV producer. This is a mixture of like a star search and American Idol. Did he say that you were going to be on TV? Yes. Rodney Bowling promised all these people they'd be on television and win big prizes. Everybody's mad. Mad because Rod Bowling isn't really a big time producer and his contest sure isn't like American Idol. If you run this, then I'm going to put, put you guys in the Hall of Shame because I got TV cameras too. Oh, so I'm yeah. Say I don't want this to air because that's bad business for my company. What's his company? Global Entertainment Television. Rod's been raking in the cash for the past year by holding talent shows. Talent shows, he says, are going to be on network TV. He said that he was a major producer. He just said that he's done some network TV before and it's on Fox. See that little logo in the bottom corner of your screen? The Fox logo? I work for them. And I can tell you right now, Rod Bowling has never had a network show on Fox. But the talent show contestants didn't know that. They thought they were going to be on network TV. I practice every day, every day into the contest. I bought new clothes. I got My mom got my hair done and my nails done. Lisa even turned down some paying gigs to be in the contest. You get to be part of a television taping and get to be on TV. But when the contestants would arrive at one of Rod's big shows, they weren't too impressed. There were no network TV crews, just some lady running a single camera in the back of the room. And that's not all. Everybody had to watch out because they had carjacks holding up the stage. We were warned to not walk on it because you were about to fall through. But Rod Bowling was still dishing it out. Here he is on a Fox 2 undercover camera, comparing himself to the producer of Fox's Boston Public and Allie McBeal. Just like uh, David Kelly or any of those other producers, okay. we produce the show and we take it to the network. Right here. And it gets deeper. Have you had shows on um, WBC, yes, WBC? Come on, Rod's never had a network show. So how is he making money? We had to sell tickets. And it was $20 for each ticket. He turns the contestants and their families into his own personal sales staff. He charged everybody every time you went to see the competition. The showdown contests are judged using an applause meter. So the more tickets the contestants can sell for 20 bucks a piece, the more likely you'll win. How many tickets do you think you sold? thousands of dollars worth. How come so much? Because Kimberly's daughter Breezy kept winning round after round, trying to make it to the finals. How many times did you compete with this thing? About like 18 rounds. The showdown in Motown finale was held in November. At last, the winners would actually get some prizes, or so they thought. We were supposed to have makeovers and shopping sprees and None of that came through. Abby is also supposed to have won a $1,000 savings bond and Breezy a $2,500 savings bond, plus a role in one of three TV commercials Rod Bowling said he was producing. There's a Pepsi commercial, a Saturn Ion commercial, and a Kmart commercial. Then there's Greg, the grand prize winner. He's supposed to get a brand new car. If I win, at least give me what, what you're supposed to give me for winning. That's what he's been telling Rod Bowling for months. But Rod keeps on making up excuses, telling Greg to show up at the dealership to pick up his prize. You were supposed to get the car today. That's correct. And he didn't show. He's not here. Now it's time for the real showdown in Motown. All a shame, son. Rod Bowling. Rob Walchuk from Fox 2. How you doing? What's happened to the prizes for your uh, showdown in Motown? What do you mean what happened to the prizes? Well, you're not giving them out. Yes, we are. No, you're not. What do you mean? Where's Greg's car? Oh, Greg, well, he's going to get his car. When? As a matter of fact, I'm going to see him now. What a coincidence. Greg's been waiting for his car for more than two months, and I just happened to jump Rod on the day he's going to see him. Greg thinks you're a schnook who's ripping him off. That's what Greg thinks. He wants his car. And all the other winners want their prizes, too. Didn't you tell Breezy that she was going to get a Pepsi commercial? No, no. We told him that what you're going to win is a television commercial. You're going to do a television commercial. And, but that hasn't happened. In fact, no, no, nothing's yes, happened. Yes, it has. No, it hasn't. Nobody's received their prizes, and nobody's seen themselves on TV. What happened to the showdown in Motown television show that was supposed to air? Well, according to Rodney, it will. That is, if he can find the money and a local TV station willing to air it.
See, I found out the only way any of Rod Bowling's television work is ever aired is if he pays a local station to put it on. So if the showdown in Motown ever does make it to the air, you'll find it on some local station late at night when they run all the infomercials and other paid programs. Rod doesn't have much of a record as a TV show producer, but he does have a criminal record. I showed Rodney a little document I picked right, so up at the courthouse. You got a fraud conviction, right? I got a fraud conviction. Yeah, and that you, Rodney Derrick Bowling. State of Michigan versus Rodney Derrick Bowling, defendant. Right? And you haven't been paying? I don't know what that is. That's a fraud conviction. A few years ago, Rod Bowling pled guilty to taking $20,000 worth of office furniture. He kept his butt out of jail by promising to pay the 20 grand back in restitution. But guess what? He never has. People don't need to know I have a felony conviction because that's, like I said, once again, that was something that was, was advised to me by my attorney. As for now, Rod says he's on his way to Greg's house to give him that car. And swears he has proof. I got a map quest to this house right now in my car. Mm -hmm. I got a map quest right now. Okay. You want All me right. to show you the map quest this house? No, I don't want to see the map quest. Well, I want to see Greg you. get his car. You don't get his I car. want to see these other people get their prizes, and I want to see your show on TV. You're going to see all of that. Gee, I don't see Rod Bowling or his TV show listed anywhere in this book, but I do see him in this book, The Hall of Shadows.